in the United States. It looks today much like it did when first discovered by man, because Floridians are acutely aware of the importance of maintaining nature's balance. Florida's vegetation and crystal clear streams have always provided a perfect haven for wildlife of every description. It was natural that man in his ever constant search to improve his living conditions would take advantage of Florida's warm climate and hospitable land. This is a story of men of vision, of men who predicted Florida's future, and of their determination to make a dream come true. This lush tropical paradise soon attracted people from all over the world. Early pioneers, while struggling to blaze trails through this dense wilderness, never once doubted Florida's unlimited potential. Though opening these early trails was difficult, the land always provided them with ample food. One such man was John Wigan, who with his son opened a new trail to South Florida. Tired, son? A little. So am I. I think we could grow anything here, Paul. Yes. This land's rich, like I've always dreamed of owning. It's lonely that we haven't seen anyone in days. It won't be this way long. We're blazing the trail, and others will soon follow. Do you think there'll be a road someday? Yes, I do. A wide road. Wide enough for wagons. A whole families will come and settle. Do you think Ma will like it here? I'm sure she will. As soon as there's a road and other people to neighbor with, there'll be lots of people. Settlements first that'll grow into cities. And this trail will be a wide road right down through the heart of Florida. And it'll be full of travelers, people like us, Farmers come to settle, to grow fruits and vegetables, and ranchers with big herds of cattle to feed on the green grass, merchants and doctors and bankers, everyone to make up a city. And maybe some will come just to visit for the beauty and the warm sun. It's sure hard to believe. I know it is, but it'll come. I may not see it, but you and your children will. And someday, you can tell your children how you and their grandfather blazed the first trail right down through the heartland of Florida and opened up this beautiful land for everyone. Now, get some sleep. Cities, big farms, roads. And come they did by the hundreds of thousands. All that John Wiggins had predicted to his son came true, and Florida became one of the most prosperous states in the Union. First came roads, the roads are the life-giving arteries of any civilization. It took other men a vision, men like John Wiggins, who also had the foresight to predict Florida's future needs. In 
1953, by action of the Florida legislature, the groundwork was begun to create a main transportation artery down through the heartland of Florida. A road so strategically located as to give access to nearly every major city. A self-supporting superhighway for the people of Florida and managed by the people of Florida. A throughway with the finest facilities of any in the world. In 1955, construction was begun, and in 1957, the first phase was open to traffic. In 1963, the turnpike was extended from Miami to Orlando, and in 1964, the phase from Orlando to Wildwood was completed. A journey on this magnificent arterial complex is a never-to-be-forgotten experience. environmental conditions are carefully considered in order to prevent ecological imbalance, as well as to allow travelers to enjoy Florida's breathtaking natural beauty. This 165-mile expanse offers an awe-inspiring panorama found nowhere else in the world as it sweeps majestically from the lovely horse and cattle ranches of North Florida down along the untold miles of sweet, scented orange groves and on through the world's largest winter vegetable farms of the Okeechobee area. finally into that magnificent winter playground known throughout the world as the Gold Coast. Florida Turnpike offers much more than scenic beauty for its travelers. It's one of the safest highways in the United States. A special troop of the Florida Highway Patrol is on duty 24 hours a day to assist travelers and help assure their safety. Highly trained as Turnpike specialists, these men are often called on to aid and assist motorists. A disabled vehicle can usually be reached from anywhere on the turnpike in five minutes. And these courteous officers will see that delays in travel are kept to a minimum, whether the need is for road service, ambulance service, or tow truck. Radio communications are instantly relayed to the designated service required. A new patron services office has been established for travelers to report problems as well as offer suggestions for further improvements. Rest areas are strategically located along the route and each is a beautiful oasis of convenience and relaxation. Mechanics are always on duty for minor repairs, and all major U.S. oil company credit cards are honored. Restrooms are kept spotlessly clean. Restaurants are excellent and efficient, and all are staffed by courteous, friendly Floridians whose only wish is to be helpful. Each plaza will soon carry its own special motif in order that each stop will be an interesting and educational experience in Florida history. Even playgrounds are provided for children, for the Florida Department of Transportation believes this is important in order to allow children to release pent-up energies from their long trip.
with easy access to all major cities, the Turnpike offers exits for tourists to visit Florida's untold number of famous attractions. Additional connections are being opened in Central Florida to allow easier access to this area's rapidly growing attractions as well as Florida's world-famous Space Center. Although famous as an expressway for tourists, the Florida Turnpike is even more famous as an essential commercial artery. It is a vital and necessary link in the rapid movement of Florida's fruits and vegetables to markets throughout the nation. The Okeechobee area of Florida is the nation's largest winter producer of vegetables. Florida's groves supply over 60% of the world's orange juice. A high percentage of these are transported by truck, and the turnpike is an essential cog in this industry. Where are you headed, Jumbo? Miami, I got to deliver there in the morning. Oh, you'll make it? Yeah, once I get on the turnpike, it'll be a straight shot. The turnpike has become an essential artery for which Florida's commerce flows in a safe, economical, never-ending stream. Yet those who travel it, as tourists, are hardly aware of this important passage. They see it only as a beautiful superhighway, filled with an ever-changing panorama of interesting and unusual scenery. A beautiful travel experience they will treasure forever. Florida's Department of Transportation and its ever-constant desire to offer the ultimate in motorist facilities have even greater plans for the Turnpike's future. Highly skilled experts are busy designing additional improvements and facilities which will be needed as Florida continues to grow. Plans call for early extension of the Turnpike to Homestead thereby alleviating some of the heaviest traffic congestion in the state. Thus, John Wiggins' visions finally came true because of the dreams, the plans, and the determination of other men with foresight. The Florida Turnpike became a reality.